Hi. What you poor saps are about to be subjected to is furry garbage made by Nathan Carr. Enjoy. Hey, man, did you hear about that jerk called Nathan Carr and how terrible he is? I hear he does equally boring and perverse stuff on the internet. I've seen his drawings, and his girls are totally... Please. I do not want to know more. His writing isn't any better. And he couldn't tell a funny joke if his life depended on it. Indeed, self-deprecation and stylistic suck only work if they are used by someone who is good to begin with. Say, that is an interesting insight. What is your name? My name is Nathan Carr. Holy free holy, a talking dog. Wait, a real life woman? As in a human that is female? That's right, man. Never thought you would meet one, did you? Are you for real? Well, that is what my parents told me, so I'll take their word for it. I find you fascinating, in the same way as a train wreck or a deviant art page. Horrible, but somehow captivating. Definitely. That is why I've been reading his short stories and viewing his drawings. Despite your distinct lack of fur, or a tail, I find your demeanor and scent pleasant. Is it natural to be attracted to a being so alien to myself? If that was a pickup line, it was ineffectual. If not, it was a thought better left unexpressed verbally. There's no way that this can be Nathan Carr. He is too funny. Here is my pickup line. Are you interested in a monogamous relationship with a weirdo that lasts until death? Not if it risks me having puppies. In that case, I am no longer interested in you. What? I just got snubbed by a dog. I am leaving. Wow, that is either hardcore, or very stupid.